morning, good afternoon, or good evening. Whatever time it is that you're joining me for this video, thank you once again for clicking on the Penboy Roy Fountain Pen Review Channel. The subject of today's video is going to be the Pen BBS 349 Hand Turned Acrylic Fountain Pen. Before I get into the neutral zone, the good, the bad, the ugly, and high noon on this pen, I'd like to go over some background information. However, the background information in regard to this pen is somewhat circumstantial and nominal at best. The only thing that I could find out is that PenBBS is a fountain pen network in China. Now before understanding the magnitude of that, let me explain this. The human population on the earth is 7.5 billion people. Of the 7.5 billion people, 4.5 billion are Chinese. Of the 4.5 billion that are Chinese, there's approximately 1 billion fountain pen users. If 1 billion people all came together and said, hey, let's all throw in a buck and get pens made, that's $1 billion dedicated to making fountain pens. Now, I'm sure that's not the case, but that's the kind of pull that they may have. Now, Pen BBS, unlike other Chinese brand fountain pens such as Jin Hao, Hero, Wing Sung, are not simple and blatant ripoffs of current fountain pens on the market such as Sailor, Parker, Pelican, Lamy, Cross. They are, however, unique in their own design. They come with piston fillers, they come with cartridge converters, many of them are also eye-droppable. That's all I got for the background information, moving on to the neutral zone. Those elements about the pen that are neither good or bad, or can be good or bad depending on you. Let me start with our nib. Our nib is a stainless steel nib. Now the nib here, if you look at it, has a slight turn up right at the tip. It almost appears as if there is no tipping material. It seems as though all the Pen BBS nibs have this quality about them. It appears to be a stainless steel number six size nib. However, be advised, this nib is slightly shorter. The feed looks as though it's also proprietary. This one is unique in its own design. The nib and feed are also part of an unscrewable nib unit. This nib and feed have several O-rings right at the base. There is a clear white O-ring. There's another one at the bottom. They screw into the grip section. Now this is something that's different from your previous Chinese acrylic hand turned pens that I've seen. This one has grip section threads using metal, therefore renders this pen un -idroppable. These metal threads screw into the body threads, which are acrylic. Moving on to the body. The threads on the body are made of acrylic, and they screw into the threads in the cap. The body then tapers down to the end. The entire body is one single piece. There is no bottom finial. The cap is also a single piece of acrylic. The finial is a single piece unified with the cap body. The clip has the triangular bobby pin shaped clip. The clip inserts into an opening in the cap that's been cut out and is attached and adhered using what looks like a Phillip head screw. Look at the center band. It's a plain, simple center band that goes around the pen and all it says is Pen BBS has two emblems on the sides and on the rear it says 349. The cap screws and unscrews in one and three quarters of a turn. Here's another interesting tidbit on this pen. No doubt to save money on manpower and labor costs, Take a look at the width of the acrylic above and below the center band. Notice that the center band assembly is simply slipped on to the acrylic cap and there's no additional acrylic sleeve at the bottom of the center band to even it out. That's all I got for the neutral zone. Moving on to the good. Those elements about the pen that are good. I do have to say that when writing with this pen, I was rather surprised. I wasn't sure what to expect when it came to a Chinese imported pen where products in China are known to be mass produced on such a scale that quality control usually suffers. So I had my doubts until I inked up this pen and started writing with it. I noticed that right out of the box, and it did come in a box, which was really surprising. This pen didn't skip, didn't hard start, didn't have baby's bottom. It had a very generous ink flow, not too wet, and definitely not dry. The turned up part of the nib gives it a unique feel when writing. It has a moderate amount of feedback. I would say that because of the way the nib was tuned and adjusted, the sides of the nib are somewhat edgy and does feel like I'm scratching the paper just a little bit if I were to rotate the nib in one direction or the other. This means that this pen has somewhat of a sweet spot but when you hit that sweet spot, it writes really well. It definitely was a surprise. Having concerns and doubts, I had to get two just to make sure that there was consistency within the line. And to my surprise, guess what? Not only were both nibs perfect out of the box, they were nearly identical. Another fantastic element about this pen is the packaging. As you can see here, it came in this white sleeve. Inside this sleeve is a Pen BBS cardboard magnetic flip top box. Inside the box is your styrofoam padding, and inside that styrofoam padding is your pen. When you take the pen out, you see that underneath there's even a bedding with an elastic strap that if you wanted to, you could strap it in. The quality control on this pen is fantastic. Milling of this pen and the threading of this pen is excellent. I also love the fact that the converter has an agitator in it that is a spring. Now I find the spring agitators to be beneficial, particularly in the fact that when the ink hugs the walls, the spring that's closer to the walls of the converter cause the converter to drop the ink towards the feet. I never seem to have any kind of ink starvation issue with this pen. 
That's all I got for the good. Moving on to the bad. Let's talk coin. Now I paid $22.99 for this pen on eBay. $22.99 for a hand-turned acrylic fountain pen that writes as good as it does is not a lot of money to ask. My only caveat is, what if there's an issue? Do I now have to ship that pen back to China? In which case, the cost of shipping to China could exceed the actual cost of the pen by double, even triple, making it worthless for you to ship the pen back to get it repaired or replaced. Now I have two of these pens, and of these two pens, both were flawless when it comes to quality control. So therefore, it was an issue that I didn't have to encounter. <laughs> Moving on to the ugly. Those elements about the pen that should not be, but are. Like I said, I have two of these pens, and quality control on them are spot on. There was nothing that I could find in regard to the ugly with this pen. It's high noon, decision-making time. Should you or should you not pull the trigger on the Pen BBS 349 acrylic hand-turned fountain pen? This one's a double answer. If you are comfortable with buying on eBay, which many are, then I would say for sure, pull the trigger on this pen. However, if you're not comfortable with eBay, and if you're not comfortable with the fact that there are Chinese sellers out there who are skirting the system, jumping through loopholes, and are able to sell fountain pens without having to pay regulatory fees, government fees, tariffs, taxes, etc. Meanwhile, other companies such as Pilot, Sailor, Pelican, Aurora, Stipula are following all the rules, paying their dues, and trying to make money in a legitimate way, then no, don't pull the trigger on this pen. Either way, you have to be comfortable. That was my review for the Pen BBS 349 hand-turned acrylic fountain pen. I hope it helped. Be well, be safe.